Hey everyone, just wanted to record a quick message. Um, obviously we've shared an update to say that we're going to be focusing on being fully decentralised as a project, which I think is a hugely important and exciting step for us. But I just wanted to give you a, a few thoughts around why we're doing that and why we think this is so important and ultimately is going to help take HODL to, to the limits of where we think it can go. So first off, um, in the 12 months or 13 months now since I've been in the role of CEO, I've been looking at our exchanges and their performance, whether that's financially, you know, what it costs to be on those exchanges versus what it's bringing to the project. And even in better times, say around the times when we were in a bull run uh, in 2021, we never actually really found that the exchanges were particularly good and successful in bringing us profit. So, you know, you look at the other benefits, you look at does it bring investor confidence? Um, does it bring new people into the ecosystem? Well, again, and certainly in more recent times, we've looked and not many people actually come off those exchanges. People are on there and trading and looking for opportunities. And a lot of what's happening is people are identifying opportunities to make money through arbitrage. So the price on, say, one exchange might be higher than another liquidity pool. And um, people are taking advantage of that. And that's a big issue, actually, you know, maintaining the price between lots of different places is not an easy thing. Um, most projects pay typically one and a half thousand to two thousand dollars a month. And they use a third party that will do market making and maintain price in all these different locations. But it's a bit of a hassle. And I think we've seen as well that um, what often happens is if you have different prices all over the place, the price that appears in the wallets can be a bit up and down. And we've 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 seen that. So people don't quite know if, if HODL is going up or down or what what is the true price. So if I think, you know, back to the beginning, HODL reached $230 million of market cap by only being on, on pancake swap in in the early days. And we also reached, you know, insane levels of BNB in the reward pool because all of the transactions were happening on chain. And that's really where the magic happens for this project is it's what happens on chain. Centralized exchanges, none of the transactions actually happen on the blockchain. They're, they're basically recorded in computing systems. And it's only when people put tokens on or take tokens off exchanges that things move around on the blockchain. So we found it very difficult to know and understand, you know, how many holders we have on exchanges, how many tokens have been purchased. You know, none of that information is really accessible or being shared by our exchanges. We also tried in the past to uh, add taxes to the exchanges so that we could um, generate revenues for the reward pools. But unfortunately, um, that was never that successful. And often if we didn't chase and remind the exchanges to send us these payments they would never arrive or if we um, left them to their own devices we we just simply wouldn't get paid so there's a lot lot going on here really but I think the key is that most people use centralized exchanges to be able to purchase BNB ethereum Bitcoin uh, they're a bit more simple than say using a DeFi wallet and pancake swap um, so it's a good way for people to in, on board into the world of cryptocurrency. However, and this is really a, the, the key here, we've built such an awesome ecosystem and we've got an app coming up where anybody can on board onto our project. So going forward, there's simply no need for, an, for any centralized exchanges. People can purchase our token with, with fiat basically and sell it back to fiat. So... And even in the future, we're going to make it so people can spend their rewards on a card. So I think this is the time to make that step and embrace being fully decentralized, totally transparent. You know, every transaction will be on the blockchain and can be accounted for. We've labeled all of our wallets on the dashboard. Um, we're going to lock the liquidity for, for the maximum period, which I believe is 256 years. And, and we're looking at plans to actually put our contract into a system where we we will require over 50% of our investors to sort of vote in favour 
if we want to make any more updates to the contract. So that, that will come down the track because there's still more to do with our ecosystem and contract. But this is the direction we're heading. You know, we want people to feel like so safe with, with HODL, you know, with this locked liquidity, with the fact that there's not transactions on exchanges that we can't explain or account for um, that are happening off chain. You know, everything will be on the blockchain. Everything will be transparent. Everything will be able to clarify and um, we're building this awesome ecosystem on top of that. And for me, that that's really what we're here to do. That's the magic. So it's been, you know, something we've been considering for over a year now. Um, we try to make our exchanges work for us, but we just simply feel they're not right for us. So we're making this change, embracing DeFi. And I think, you know, hodl with what we've built where we're going and the potential growth of DeFi, we can really be the ones to ride the DeFi wave all the way to the top so can't wait to get the hodl app out because i think that's going to really really help everybody understand the vision there and how easy it will be for anybody anywhere in the world to get involved in what we're doing here so hopefully we'll be able to get that to you very soon and we'll share more updates on that but yeah just wanted to record a quick video to share my thoughts and feelings on why moving to being fully decentralized is such a big move for us and, and is really going to help us unlock the best possible future for us all. Thanks, everyone.